Yo everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another Formula 1 video and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I thought we would jump into the champions part of the game and do an F1 sprint championship. Uh, so we're going to be jumping in the McLaren. Um, so what this basically is, is a five lap race. Uh, you think you have six races, um, dynamic weather and we basically have to sort of try and get up the field as fast as we can uh, so it's sort of like a reverse grid order as well so if say if you finish first in the race you would start last for the next one basically um, so I thought it would be a fun little challenge to do and something uh, a little bit different as well obviously uh, I don't want to do a my team uh, career mode yet. I'm going to save that for the new game, which I have seen the trailer for, uh, and I'm very, very excited for the next game. Here we are, Jeff on the radio again. And we're jumping in straight away. We're on the default setup for this first race in Australia and it's lights out and away we go we got a, a decent start uh, and just try to make the most that we can so bearing in mind we have to go literally flying here as well lose the back end coming out of turn one I hit I think slightly hit uh, Charles Leclerc on the exit of turn two and as we go down to turn three Leclerc flying down the inside of both of uh, me and my teammate Carlos Sainz and uh, I don't know if you saw that, but Leclerc, as you can see on the top right, actually got a, a time penalty. I think it was because of a collision between him and Sainz as we went into uh, turn number three there. But yeah, like I said, on the default setup here. Um, but yeah, with these races, you've basically just got to go ham, literally, from start to finish. You, you literally don't have any time to sort of think about what you're going to do. Uh, as we uh, move on to sort of the end of lap one here, down in towards turn 13, down the inside of Charles Leclerc, and up into P7 then, uh, on the back of uh, this uh, massive train of cars here. And this is the good thing about this championship, is that it gets very tight uh, on the uh, inside there of uh, turn number one, and now we're going to try and go down the inside of two cars uh, down the inside of Magnussen and Sainz do a little lock up try and make the most of it now going around the outside of turn 4 I had to go a little bit wide unfortunately I probably should have given the place back but I was I, I didn't care I knew I had to make up as many positions as possible so uh, that was uh, that basically uh, I'm not sure who's uh, leaning currently but yeah this is the, th the good thing about uh, the sprint championship is that you there's all kinds of cars all over the place as we go up the inside of uh, George Russell there. Uh, did that a little bit better than we did uh, in the last, the first challenge at Monza. And then I make up a, I make a huge lock up there into turn number nine, I think it is. And then Science gets me, but I turn up the R, the RS. I'm in full rich revs through turn 11 and 12, and retake the place on Carlos Science. So we still stay in P4, and that was pretty much it for that race so we finished in p4 taking home 12 points uh, danny kvyat in alpha tauri uh, wins the race perez second and kimi raikkonen third me fourth and then science behind me in fifth so not a bad race um for the start there i think i actually checked because i saw i didn't notice it when i was playing but yeah there you go um oh you know it was a corner cutting warning so he gained a place apparently i don't know when it was but apparently that's what the penalty was for. And now moving on to China for the second Grand Prix. I haven't mentioned as well, but um, I I did two races each uh, for for this episode. Uh, so lights out again for China. And once again, not a not a bad start. We uh, sort of gain up on Carlos Sainz here. Now trying to go up the inside of uh, George Russell as well but I thought better of it and now trying to find the inside into this very very long turn one as uh, Bottas and Magnussen going side by side there trying to hang it around the outside here at turn two the uh, corner widens quite nicely and we get a, a sort of nice exit there trying to go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen and then here I was just trying to sort of do a Daniel Ricciardo sort of uh, 2018 move when he went up the inside of Bottas uh, trying to make 
the move stick as much as possible. We didn't do too badly there uh, on Magnussen, but couldn't quite make the move on Bottas. As we're coming onto the back straight now on lap number one. Uh, so obviously no DRS here, but I was in full rich. ERS turned on and trying to get past Bottas, go up the inside of not one but two cars, and uh, Daniel Ricciardo got dive bombed, Daniel Ricciardo style there. <laughs> so I uh, wasn't quite able to make the move. Uh, but moving on to lap two now, again just the the train of cars. It was it was so fun to just try and fight our way through. A uh, little bit of a dodgy exit here, as you can see, this is uh, Bottas going around the outside of me. I'm not having any of it. Uh, I break much later, and then I wasn't even trying to overtake Daniel Ricciardo here. I was just trying to stay ahead of Bottas. Uh, as we move on to the middle part of lap two, once again, Ricciardo just showing no mercy, not wanting to give up uh, 12th place here, but finally managed to stay quite ahead of him. And then Stroll locks up here, and I go down the inside at the hairpin at the end of lap two into 11th place then. So we're making up quite good progress here. Uh, again, just like the last to first challenge, I was really struggling with the ERS management here. Uh, and out of this corner again, I don't know what turn it is, but really struggling for traction, and uh, that's part of the track where the AI were uh, really trying to catch up to me, and it was working quite well for them. And here again, Latifi and Vettel going side by side. I'm trying to get uh, the inside line of Vettel. Obviously, he has the DRS, so he's going to be faster. So trying to make the most of that. I have no ERS moment. I pulled to the uh, middle. I had no idea where Latifi was. And then Vettel sort of wobbled uh, on the inside there, but somehow managing to make up the place here. And once again, this corner into the sort of snail section, Vettel uh, tried to make a move on me, but quite couldn't quite do it. And then coming out of the back straight here, don't think uh, Vettel is quite able to uh, gain the momentum down here. I pull right to the right hand side just to try and break the slipstream as much as I could. And then from nowhere, Vettel dive bombs me, and I didn't think I was going to have the traction uh, to to fight it, but luckily I did, and. Thankfully, hold on to P9 and score more points in this sprint championship. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. And there we go then, P9 for me as Charles Leclerc wins the race with the fastest lap as well. So that sort of makes up for his penalty. So we currently sit seventh in the championship with Carlos Sainz in ninth on 10 points. I'm, in, I'm on 14 and then we are fourth in the constructors as well. Seven, well, joint third with Renault and seven points behind Alfa Tauri with Ferrari in second. But nevertheless, guys, if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm going to be making a little series out of this. Um, so make sure you are subscribed. And I will see you all again in the next one, guys. Take care.